We're hearing now from another car owner involved in last week's collision on Wilkins Avenue. Michael Wetzel owns a classic car that he was hoping to have repaired. WMER 2 News' Dave Detling joins us live now from outside police headquarters with the latest on that big crash investigation. Yeah, we're talking 38 plus vehicles damaged last week. Now that crash still under investigation, but imagine spending close to 20 years restoring a car only to have it damaged. Like you said, Mike is hoping that those responsible pay up. Well, this is the first day I got it. The Polaroids date back to 1993. That's when Michael Wetzel started restoring his 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Last week, it was wrecked. The lady next door said, look up the street. I look up the street. That's why I seen the back end all smashed. I was pissed. I was hurt. I was mad on top of it. Michael's restored vintage car was one of 38 damaged last week when an impaired driver in a work truck ran into several vehicles parked on Wilkins Avenue just after midnight. Since then, there have been constant calls to insurance companies. Michael even called the driver's employer to see where things stand. On the end of the day, told me um, she's going to have to look at the video to make any decision. And I already told her the, uh, the insurance company would get hold of her. And I already told her my, what car she, he damaged, and I gave her my telephone number. That's the, only thing, that's the only thing I could do. Right now, it's a waiting game. I have six kids. That's how I got them to school, doctor's appointments, everywhere. Charlene Wade's car was also hit. The minivan was totaled. While she waits on insurance, she's launched a GoFundMe page. People on Wilkins Avenue say they need their cars repaired or for someone to pay up for new wheels. They're talking about the driver and his employer. I think both of them should be responsible because he was driving the vehicle, he's responsible and responsible for the vehicle he was driving. That truck should be off the road at 1 o'clock in the morning. It shouldn't be out that tight. And it's still unclear why the welder was out driving at that time. We have reached out to his employer and are waiting for a callback. Reporting outside police headquarters, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.